November 25th, 2021. And I'm in very, very casual attire today. Casual, but I think elegant because it is a holiday and I just like to look nice. Um, so, hope you like what I'm wearing. But more importantly than what I'm wearing, my YouTube friends, this is going to be a two-part video because uh, after I take the groceries over to my mother's that I got for her request, I'm going to come back and put on my one of my favorite lovely robes and uh, talk to you a little more. Um, so, it's a two-part video. Here I am dressed. And the next part, which will be the... Um, intro to the uh, OnlyFans and Patreon videos for today. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's going to be two parts anyway. Okay, so yeah, I'm kind of rambling, but, but what I want to talk to you about right now is sort of a very sudden topic. I was just completely offended, affronted, and disgusted at Whole Foods. My mother requested cranberry sauce. Publix is not open today. So I went to Whole Foods. I don't like that store. I'm just being honest. I mean, I know they have a very nice buffet. They used to have live music there. I really very much enjoyed that. Once in a blue moon, I would go for dinner to their salad bar thing, which is enormous. Okay, so yeah, that stuff is pretty good. But listen to what happened. I went there. I got a can of cranberry sauce. Uh, a soup container, which I'm guessing is like a pint Oh, I filled it with mashed potatoes, okay? I told the woman at the counter because I didn't want a whole silver tray of them. I just wanted a few. So I got turkey gravy, mashed potatoes, a pint, and a can of cranberry sauce. Guess how much that was? It was so, I was so sickened. when the, I told the lady, you should be embarrassed to say that to me. You should be embarrassed. Ha, it was $31 and change. That, to me, is absurd. I spent it. Okay, I'm going to tell you why. Because normally, in a normal world, I would have shoved it back at her and walk the heck out of the store. No, I work too hard for my money to just be giving it to Whole Foods. That's just ridiculous. It's offensive. It's embarrassing. I didn't even want to bring the bag now into the house. I don't want people to think I'm that stupid that I would shop somewhere that charges $31 for three stupid little items. Okay, it's just ridiculous. I did it because I love my mother, and she asked specifically for those things. Now, I could have bought them yesterday for $7 and change, I'm sure, at Publix. But no, I love my mother. And Lord knows I've wasted money in my life. I've done very stupid things with my money, so I'm not really crying about it, but it really aggravated me. And I'm looking at all these people shopping at Whole Foods thinking, what a bunch of jerks. Okay, so um, if you shop at Whole Foods, please forgive me. I... I still love you, my friends in YouTube land. My mother, avid Whole Foods person, she loves that place. But after what just happened there, I can honestly tell you, I will never, ever step foot into a Whole Foods again as long as I live, nor will I give my mother a ride to Whole Foods. If she wants to go to that store in the future, she can find her own darn way to get there. I'm not driving her there. So I'm going to take her stuff to her house in a few minutes. I'm very happy I got what she wanted. It is a holiday, but I just had to get that out because it's truly how I feel. I was just appalled. And I was I, I was embarrassed for the lady who said it to me. I was like, how can you say that with a straight face? Really? Ugh. Okay, so I'll back on a happy note. The good news is that I had the $31 in my purse. And, uh, and I do have a mother to share Thanksgiving with. And, uh, and I have mashed potatoes now, and boy, they better be good. They had better be good. <laughs> and not much keeps me down. I don't stay angry very long. And, of course, everyone has the right to go to or not to go to Whole Foods. It was the only place open here today on Thanksgiving, which, on another note, is really nice. I don't know. I remember when I was little, like Christmas Day, nothing was open, like literally nothing. And that was in Las Vegas. <laughs> but like nothing was open on Christmas. And uh, even though I grew up Jewish, it's nice. It's nice when people observe the holidays. It's nice for the employees. It's just nice. It's nice for the community. It's nice for the traffic. It's. I think it's wonderful. So, uh, 
You know, on that note, now that I'm thinking more about it, I guess I should just get myself and say I deserve to spend $31 on three silly items because I didn't think ahead. I should have done it yesterday. If I had done my shopping yesterday, I would not have had this issue today. But again, you know, I could sit here and bitch and moan about it forever, or I could say, look at the bright side. There is always a bright side. So on the bright side, my mom's getting what she wants. Thank God she doesn't live with me because I tell you, I think uh, that kind of mentality would drive me crazy. Somebody who feels the need to shop in places like that, uh, it, it irks me. It bothers me. Um, and I, 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 I'm just glad that she lives close, but not too close. <laughs> so how is your day going? What are you doing? Oh, there was something else I wanted to discuss with you, my YouTube friends, and that is my cooking videos. I only have two cooking videos, but both videos are doing so well on the analytics page. Now there are other videos that I have in the past that have that are on uh, you know also that high on the analytics page, but the cooking videos in particular seem to gain the most interest from you. I'm kind of curious about that, so I thought let me expand upon those cooking videos. Do you have a favorite meal? Uh, you know, I, I'm no, uh, what's her name, Julia Child, <laughs> I'm not her, I don't do, um, rack of lamb and all that hard stuff, but, but I do, I do know how to make some good things, um, salami and eggs is like my, one of my specialties, uh, I make fresh homemade cream chip beef on toast, uh, what else can I make? Um, I make all kinds of stuff. I make a great hamburger, actually a bacon cheeseburger with mushrooms and pickles and oh god, I go all into that. Um, and then I have a pork loin, you know, the, the usual regular m meals that normal people eat. Uh, so as long as it's not like overly fancy, if you have a favorite meal in mind, like tuna casserole, something like that, let me know. I put on something fun and sexy and cooking for you. And if I don't get any requests, then I'll just come up with something different. Um, sometimes I get uh, the urge to cook something different and fancy, and uh, so far I've, I've not been so successful. But luckily for me, I like plain food. <laughs> plain food. I don't mean plain food. I mean simple food. That's probably shepherd's pie. I make an excellent shepherd's pie. So if you have a, a request to see me cook something like that, just let me know. And uh, on that note, uh, I'm going to go take this extremely expensive side dishes to my mother and uh, enjoy a little meal with her. And then I'm going to come back and uh, do part two of this video and my videos for Patreon and OnlyFans. Okay, bye. Well, my dearest YouTube friends, I'm back, and I'm back before I expected to be. It's only been about 20 minutes. My mom is enjoying her horse channel, so she's watching the horse stuff that bores the pants off of me. So rather than get bored pants off by watching the horse stuff with her, I took the pants off myself and put on one of my favorite robes. <laughs> and now, I'm going to have a glass of wine. Uh, I went to the uh, liquor store, and I'm not really big on red wine. I think I told you in the first cooking video about how uh, I learned about aerating it. You know, you open it, put in a decanter, and leave it for a couple hours, and let it air, and then you swirl it in the glass. There are many tricks to making red wine taste good. Now I like it, but I still don't know what I really like. So since I enjoy a white Sauvignon Blanc, I decided to uh, get a Sauvignon, the red Sauvignon. Hold on, I'll get it and show you. I got this two, two for one. Yeah, see, here it is. Two for one. This is a uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. And it seems silly, right? But since I love a Sauvignon Blanc, I figured, well, it's got the Sauvignon in it, I'll probably enjoy it. <laughs> Two for one for $19.99. I thought that was a good deal for a holiday special wine. So I'm going to let that aerate for an hour or so. Go ahead and put this video with the first part of the video and 
from now, I'm just going to do something for my OnlyFans and Patreon friends uh, as well. And I'll open this up for that. <laughs> but I hope you're having a good day. Mojo's angry at me right now. He is angry at me because I... <laughs> I got a lot to tell you about today. Mojo still has his little break nuts, I call them, and you know what that means, I'm sure. And if you don't, think about it a minute. Mojo adopted me. Mojo rescued me about nine years ago. And I say that because he changed my life so much for the better, and I, I just love him to pieces. Although I really rescued him, he, he rescued me too. And he had his little great nuts, that's what I call them. And the vet said, get rid of them. And I said, well, how old is he? And they said, he's about three years old. And I said, no, no, we're not doing that. He's attached to them, obviously. And he's a good boy. I love him. He's been perfect. Not an accident ever anywhere that I saw. Turns out Mojo is very, very sneaky and very, very smart. He peedled all the whole time I've had him, but he hides it. Very, very smart dog. So what I've been doing over the last five years or so is... I have this bleach in a spray bottle, and especially when he does it in the grout, it stays in the grout. And you know, for a long time, I actually thought the grout on this floor was black <laughs> because the person who lived here before me had pets, and I guess they didn't know either. But now that I know, I bleached the whole floor. So Mojo found a new pedal hiding place over the last week, I guess, and I found it yesterday. So I bleached it, of course. <laughs> I'm happy enough. And now he's mad at me. And I know he's angry at me. He hasn't eaten his breakfast. He keeps giving me dirty looks. And looking at the top of the refrigerator, he wants treats. But he wasn't a good boy. He's not getting a treat until he eats his food. So that's that. <laughs> if you're a pet owner or a pet parent, I guess a pet parent is a better way to say it. If you're a pet parent, then perhaps you can relate to what I just said. If I had gotten Mojo when he was a baby, I probably would have had him had the uh, grape nuts removed. But because I got him at the age of three, I thought that was actually cruel to do that. And, uh, and I don't know if I was right or wrong. I never claimed to know everything. I, I could have been wrong about that. Maybe I did him an injustice, but he sure seems to like them. So <laughs> I think I made the right choice for him. So I've babbled on long enough. I hope you're having a good day, all my wonderful special friends. I do have uh, some very special hellos to go out, but I'm going to save that for the next video. And uh, yeah, on that note, hope we all have a wonderful day. Happy Thanksgiving, and um, 